Welcome back to the channel. This is just going to be a quick video. I'm going to install an NNO mount to my Bronco. I had a home built antenna on it for two meters. It wasn't working very well on GMRS. So I wanted to find something that would cover all the bands. And uh, I think I did that. This viewer will include a review of this antenna. This is a tram model 1181 antenna and it's advertised to cover both 2 meter ham, 70 centimeter ham and also GMRS, all three of those bands. So we're going to give it a try. It's a pretty cheap antenna, it's less than 30 bucks on Amazon. So we'll give it a whirl. Anyway, um, this NMO mount is designed for RG58 coax which is a little bit smaller than what I'm running, which is RG8X, which is about 240 thousandths versus the RG58, which is about 200 thousandths. And that matters because this is gauged for the RG58. This is also gauged for the RG58. It's supposed to snap over the shield or the insulation of the coax. So I think I found a workaround for that. I'll get into that in just a little bit. But First, we got to install this mount, so let's get started doing that. The first thing I had to do was oversize the hole that I had drilled in the cow, so I used a step bit for that and took it up so that the mount threads would just slip through the hole. I then sanded the inside surface to make a good ground, and uh, then I uh, soldered the shield to the eyelet and the center connector to the pin, and then heat shrink over top of that. And then I just took a crescent wrench and I mounted it in the hole. Put the gasket over top the threads. That just keeps water out of the uh, mount assembly. A little bit of dielectric on the threads. And then I just screwed the Tram 1181 onto the mount and just made it hand tight. Just like that and our install is complete. You'll notice there is a slight angle outward to this antenna. Once I get done tuning I'll just give it a slight bend to straighten it out. But let's go ahead and sweep it with the VNA. And here's the sweep test with the Nano VNA. So I'm showing SWR 1.06 at 145 300. 1.2 at 148, so covers the entire 2 meter handband handily. And we're 2.2 2 point 4.429 megahertz. In fact, let me zero that in a little bit. 2.4 at 430. 2.4 at 430. Not real good on 70 centimeter ham, but it looks like it's going to be fine at GMRS. So there's 462 flat, and it's 1.6. It just goes down from there. So it almost looks like it might be just a hair long. Actually, her shirt. Yeah, let me lengthen it just a little bit and see if that helps anything. So by lengthening it, I was able to get 70 centimeter under two to one, but it made GMRS worse. There was a kind of an odd double hump and the low parts were away from where I wanted to be, which was right around 464 megahertz. So that was up around 1.9 to 1. So I, I shortened it, I put it back where it was. And now we're 1.6 to 1 at 462, and it just goes down from there. At the low, Or 476 which is unusable for GMRS but hey there it is so by lengthening it it did not change that little hump that you see right between those two frequencies 462 and 475 
it just got worse by lengthening it. So I'll leave it right where it is. And uh, two meter hand is absolutely great. Let me show you that. It does not get much better than that for two meters. Look at that. And the extreme edges of this is 140, I don't know, let's say 150. So it's still 1.2 of 148. I am perfectly happy with that. So here would be the two meter calling frequency. Right about there. And it's showing 1.09 to 1. So yeah, I like this little antenna. It's going to do the job. And uh, I think I'll keep it.